All right, this is first grade, module four, lesson 13. And in this lesson, uh, students are gonna kind of uh, review something they learned back in an earlier module, the idea of using count on, counting on to, a, to add. Uh, they're also gonna be using that concept of making 10 to add. We're not quite using any of the standard algorithms at this point, so parents and teachers, patience, this may look a little unfamiliar to you, uh, but ultimately what we're doing is we're developing number sense in our students so that when they are ready to learn that standard algorithm, it'll make sense and it'll be a piece of cake. So let's get started. So we're being told to use quick tens and ones to complete the place value chart and of course that number sentence down, down here. So we've got our quick tens, we've got our place value chart, we've got our number sentence. And the idea is what we're going to do, really this is uh, count on. So the idea is you have 21, so here's our quick tens and a one, and then we're adding four more, so we're kind of notating it in a different fashion. I can use color, but they're using X's versus the dots. And then, um, ultimately, once we've built the, the answer, we, we go back and we look at it and we say, oh, that's 20 because it's two tens, plus we have five ones, so our answer is 25, as in two tens and five ones, because here are our two tens and here are our five ones. So we're basically using the count on method, so let's do that over here. So we're going to start by building 21, so here's a 10, here's a 10, and there's our 1. So we just built the 21, now we need to add on the eight. So I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So what do we have? Uh, well, how many tens do we have? We have two tens. And then ultimately, how many ones do we have all together? Well, we, if we needed to, we would count them all. But we had one here plus eight more. So we have nine ones all together. So that means we end up with 29. More of the same. The idea is really this is just um, counting on because we're going to start by modeling. Oh, let's do this one. Let's do 33 plus 7. So we're going to start by modeling the 33. So I'm going to model that 33, and it's going to look like 1, 2, 3 tens, and then 1, two, three ones. So I've got the, the 33 modeled. Now we're going to add on seven more. So that's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then the idea is, well, what do we end up with? How many tens do we end up with? Well, we have one, two, three quick tens. But here's a cool special thing. These guys right here equals another 10. So really, if I wanted to, I could draw another line there. So how many 10s do we end up with? We end up with four 10s, and we end up with no ones left over. So our answer is 40. This is more of the exact same, only they're kind of rearranging where things are, and they're also asking us to use the number bond because ultimately that count on method while that from the previous slide while that count on method is a nice method we want to have our students develop even more flexibility um, to to just be better mathematicians so the idea is we're going to take that 26 and we're going to decompose it to be 20 and 6. Now we're going to draw our quick 10. So 20 is going to look like that. And then 6 is going to look like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now we can add in the two more. 1, 2. And what do we end up with? Well, we end up with two 10s because that's these guys right here. And how many 1s do we end up with? Well, we end up with 8 ones. So our answer ends up being 28. 
here, uh, parents and teachers, this is a great opportunity to allow your students to solve the, these problems using whatever method they've learned so far. Um, let, this is where differentiation is really going to happen. For example, let's take a look at question B. So we've got 22 plus 8. I'm going to use the, de the decomposition. I'm going to use the number bonds to represent 22 as 20 and 2. And then I'm going to model that with quick tens. So here's quick tens for t uh, 20, for two tens. And then here's my units for the two. So here's 20 right here. And for the two, here's my two twos. I mean, my two little dots. Now I'm going to model that eight. So that's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then, so what do we end up with? Well, how many tens do we end up with? Well, we end up with two tens. And then how many ones do we end up with? Well, let's count. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh-oh, that's a whole nother ten. That's another quick ten. So we actually ended up with three tens, which is 30. So that actually ends up being 30. And that wraps up a kind of a fun lesson. That's first grade, module four, lesson 13, where students are reviewing that count on method that we learned earlier. Uh, plus, we're using the make 10 strategy to add two digit numbers.